Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial about the rendering settings that I used on Movie 8 Pro 14. Now one thing that I noticed on YouTube is that there isn't any tutorials to show you how to do um, the rendering settings or the project settings uh, for Movie Edit Pro. So what I thought I'd do after doing the test videos that I'd done, um, I thought that I would do a quick tutorial to show you what settings I used so that if you're using Movie Edit Pro 14 or even any of the other Movie Edit Pros then these this video might help you sort out your rendering settings. So let's get started. So here's Movie Edit Pro 14. Um, I've got me 8 minute video that I did there. Um, that was the one that I did where I told you about what I thought was the best editing software. Um, I have had comments about other pieces of software which would do just as good a job. But I, I still think the Movie Edit Pro is a pretty good piece of software to get to use with the Kodak ZI8. So, you've first of all, before you start your project, you want to go to File and you want to go to Movie Settings. Now, here is where you set up um, what the project is going to be. You know what picture size and resolution, all that sort of stuff. Now, this button here automatically adjusts new images to fill screen. That means that the picture that you take will actually stretch to the size of the screen that you're doing. So when you upload it to YouTube, you won't have those funny black lines on the sides or the bottom or the top. At the moment, this is set to 640 by 360, which is the same settings I used in my Sony Vegas tutorial. They're the settings that you get where you don't have to get HD and the file sizes are really, really small. If you want to do the 640 by 360, you just do there. If you did want to do the 720p, you just click on 720p and it'll change it for you there. Right, so you've done that. You do your video edit in there, which is pretty cool. And then when, when you're ready to render, you go up to File again, go to Export Movie, and then uh, Windows Media Export. I, I find that Windows Media is a better one for me to use. Um, everybody has their own favourites. Uh, mine is WMV file because the quality is okay and the file size is always a lot smaller. At the moment it's set to 720p so let's have a look at the YouTube settings without HD. So there you go, 640 by 360, 25 frames per second etc etc. If you want to change those settings go to advanced and you can sort of change them to whatever you want to do I find that these settings have worked pretty well for me at the moment um, but like I say I'm still new to this so I'm still trying things out I found that 80 was good enough quality wise 100 made the file size a lot bigger as well as setting um, the audio higher I mean it was on uh, 192 which was really was too high for me 96 I found that the quality is good enough on 96 and uh, so you go 25 frames a second and uh, there's all the settings there so once you do you press OK that will sort that out and then that brings up that shows you all of the settings you've done there now I save it as a preset so you just click on there like so and then save as a general preset like that and then it gives you what you've already put they're the two that I've used. Call it whatever you like, um, which is cool. So then you just press OK. Now, for the 720p setting, similar thing. I've made a preset, which is that. The only difference is the fact that it's 720p instead of 640 by 360. All the other settings are the same. Advanced, there you go. All the other settings are the same there. Um, so there you go that's it then all you do is press OK uh, you pick where your file is going to be and there press that to browse and then basically you just go and pick where you want it to be saved to um, and then that's it now um, I did this video which is 8 minutes long in 720p and 
the file size amazed me. Basically, 73 megabytes for a 720p video. Now, I think that is quite good. There's the video, the same video with the 640x360, and it's only 23 megabytes, which is, you know, quite amazing, really. The 720p 60 frames per second test was only 22 megabytes. And there's the same one with 30 frames per second, there's only 17. So Windy, Windows Movie Maker, when it's rendered, it does do the file sizes quite small. Well, smaller, anyway. So that's pretty good, I think. Because I've tested it and the quality of the video is really good. And the file size is small, so that's pretty cool. Now, the only thing with Moody Edit Pro, it seems to me that it takes longer to render. I did that 720p video, um, which was 8 minutes long, and it took um, an hour for it to render. But once it had rendered, it was only 72 megabytes. Now, to load up 72 megabytes onto YouTube will only take sort of 20 to 30 minutes at the most. So, even though you've got to wait an hour for it to render, it still is quite good um, as far as YouTube's concerned. So now that I've found that out, I think I might actually start to use the actual 720p settings on my Kodak um, to get HD quality videos because you know now that I can actually upload it and it won't take ages to do so, that to me seems like a real bonus. Whether Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus is going to be the same, I don't know. I, I should be getting it next week, so what I'm going to do is, when I get it, I'll do loads of tests. Hopefully the settings won't be too different, and if they are, then basically I'll sort of let you guys know. But as far as I'm concerned, the settings that I've shown you today are the ones that I'm going to be using. This video I've done in WVGA only to make it easier to upload. I'm still doing loads of tests with the 720p settings as far as Movie Edit Pro is concerned. Um, so uh, there will probably be some other videos that I'll be putting up in that regard. So there you go, that's my tutorial. I hope it's helped. If you've got any questions, ask away. I shall try and answer them best I can. I hope these settings are going to help you guys with Movie Edit Pro. I'm not sure if they will work the same with the previous Movie Edit Pro versions. I would imagine that it will. Um, but you know I haven't got the other the previous version so I can't tell you I have got Movie Edit Pro 14 which is what I'm using at the moment so that is what those, these settings are for I would imagine that they work for Movie Edit Pro 15 um, whether it works for the other versions I don't know um, if anybody knows then that would be good and they can sort of tell me and let me know so there you go that's my tutorial I hope it's helped thanks for watching goodbye